Hi everyone, today we're going to take a look at this Peltier cooling unit that I bought online. Now I can't remember where I bought it from, I'll try and find out and then do an overlay on the video. I can't remember if it was eBay or Banggood or Alibaba, I really don't remember. Um, but when I ordered it I had so many ideas of what I was going to do with this and then when it arrived they've all disappeared, I can't think of what to do with it anymore. So how does it work? Well, there's two Pelty units which are under these foam pads here. So we've got one here, one here. And then on this side, this is the hot side. This is where all the hot air is exhausted away. So they've got bigger fans. On this side, you've got the cool side. So if, for instance, um, I've got a box here, let me show you. So this is a box that I've been using for testing. And the idea is that I push the cold side in here. So let me do that. So you can see I've got the cold side in there, which I can then close. So now inside there is kind of like a refrigerator or a freezer. So this box fills with cold air and then the hot air is exhausted. Now you need quite a beefy power supply to power this. What I've got here is a 12 amp battery charger, but we can just use it as a 12 volt power supply. I'll connect all the wires and then you can see how much current it actually draws. Now this isn't like a full review video or you know showing you everything that's good about this. This is more of like kind of like an unboxing just to give an initial idea of what I've got on my hands and kind of take some feedback from you guys about what you think I could use this for, what would be an interesting project. Um, because I am very much open to ideas because I can't remember half the ideas that I had before. So let me just finish connecting all these wires. Hopefully all of these will connect okay. This is really a bit of a hack job, but it should do good enough to get the thing going. So if I turn this on, you can see it's drawing five amp. I don't know if you can see that, but that's five amp at 12 volts. So that's 60 watts. Um, I think I actually had it going up to around 80 watts before. So I'm not exactly sure what's going on there, but both of these fans are spinning. And on the inside, yeah, both of those fans are spinning. So what's happening right now is this side is getting very hot because of the Peltier and this side is getting very cold because that's the way the Peltier works. When you apply power, one side gets hot, one side gets cold. And if I fill the heat sink, I can feel both of them are getting very cold on the inside. So if I was to close this box up right now, we're exhausting all the hot air away, but the box is filling with cold air. Now as to how big a space you can cool, I'm not sure that's a good question. Um, but if I keep this closed for, I don't know, a few seconds and then put my hand in there, yeah, I can feel it's, it's much, much cooler. Um, let me grab my FLIR camera so I can show you. Now, I think there's actually something wrong with my FLIR thermal camera because every single time I go to use it, the battery is dead and I only use it for like five minutes then I put it back like turn it off put it back in the case store it and then like a few weeks later the battery's dead so it's really starting to annoy me anyway I plugged in a charger so let's connect it to my iPad and then I'll take a picture of the heat sink on the inside and then the heat sink on this side so you can see the difference so I've taken a picture on the inside now let's take a picture of the outside heat sink and then I'll take a picture of let's say this pouch here, which has just been sitting around so we can get a rough idea of what my ambient temperature is like. It is pretty hot in here. I don't know if you can tell by looking at me, but this room's very hot. Um, so let me open up these images and show you. So on the inside, the two heat sinks are measuring at around 16.9 degrees Celsius. And then on the outside, the hottest point is around 41 degrees, so much hotter. And then our ambient is something around 31 degrees. So ambient temperature around 30 degrees. Inside temperature, if we were to close this up, would be something closer to 18, 19, 20 degrees. So it's really like a refrigerator or a aircon unit that's cooling the space inside this box and all the hot air is being exhausted away. It's actually quite nice if I keep the box closed and then open it up like this. And then suddenly I get a big waft of like cool air, which is really nice. Um, so yeah, the question is, what do we do with this? Because I'm really not sure. One thing I thought is getting like one of those ice boxes and then mounting this. So I basically have a portable 12 volt refrigerator because um, that would work pretty well. But it's kind of boring because you can already buy those. Like there's already refrigerators out there that use Peltiers, either one or two or multiple. So that already exists. So we have to try and think of something more exciting. Now, one thing I tried before is I put like a frame around my bed and it was completely sealed, although there were a few air holes because, you know, I didn't want to suffocate. And I actually vented the air conditioning unit directly in there because I wanted to test the idea of 
like let's say you're sleeping at night and you have an air conditioning unit. In fact, let me turn this off for a minute. Yeah, let's say you're sleeping at night and you have an air conditioning unit. You're cooling the whole room, but chances are for those eight hours or whatever, you're just gonna stay inside your bed. So it'd be much more efficient if you could just cool you know, your bed area instead of cooling the whole room. So that was an idea I was playing with before. So I don't know if we can you know, somehow bring this into the mix because average air conditioning unit for a bedroom might be, oh, I don't know, say 800 watts to 1500 watts when the compressor is running. Whereas this thing, we're talking about anywhere from 60 to 100 watts, depending on whether it's actually working properly. Um, so yeah, I, this is really just a video asking for suggestions, asking for ideas. Let me remove this. So yeah, this is really just a video asking for suggestions of what we could do with this. And I will bring it closer so you can get a better look at this. You can see you've got the two fans on the back, that's to draw the heat away. Then of course we've got this big thick heat sink, this is aluminium heat sink. And then this is where we've got the Peltier. I see where this white foam is. Well the Peltier is wedged between this heat sink and this heat sink. So this is the cold side and then you've got the two cold side fans there. So yeah, it's an interesting unit. If you have any ideas, put them in the comment section down below. And if you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. Thanks for watching.